last time I waded into the furry and shrieking world of Harry Potter fandom, armed only with logic and a bulletproof sense of English arrogance, I more or less got out alive. A few people told me to kill myself, and I'm pretty sure the legitimacy of my parents' marriage was called into question, but other than that, unscathed. Ding ding, time for round two. And some more well-intentioned joshing about H. Potts and his silly, silly world. Now don't take any of this too seriously. After all, it's just wizards. I'm Adam from WhatCulture.com, and here are eight problems with the Harry Potter universe that no one wants to admit. Number eight, the sorting hat is bullshit. The house system at Hogwarts adds an extra layer of personality-driven conflict to the Potterverse. The reckless, glory-hunting assholes go in one house, the story-irrelevant nerds go to another, all the murderers and Satan worshippers to another, and all the virgins go to Hufflepuff. It's an extended gag that becomes really problematic the more you look at it. A child is a very impressionable thing, a half-finished sculpture that can still be shaped in any number of ways. You need a carefully constructed variety of social influences to slowly engineer them into a balanced person. You don't take an impressionable kid, identify them by one character, to trait and lock them away with a hundred other enablers, especially when some characteristics like bravery are valued more than others. The Sorting Hat has, in a sense, created a personality-based class system. Number seven, Quidditch is bull before the books get serious and the time previously wasted on sports has to be spent on camping and scowling, everyone plays Quidditch or flying foot basket baseball. It is, my fine friends, a rubbish sport. Not only does it give bats to children who are constantly being told they're evil, sorry, cunning, and telling them to go wild on each other, but even the sport itself is awful. The golden snitch ruins everything. Imagine watching a game of football, or soccer in the US, and after 60 minutes your team has scraped and clawed a 3-1 lead, only to be told, oh, sorry, a dude on the other team found the secret golden football, and that's worth 15 goals, and now the game's over. Bye. What is the point of the rest of the game, then, if the seeking job is worth 15 goals? And the game only ends when the snitch is caught? The game can last as little as 3 seconds, or as long as 3 months, and no substitutions are allowed. That's torture. Even cricket is more enjoyable than that, and I do not say that lightly. Number six, the parenting is bullshit. Let's take magic out of it for a second and say you're a parent. You've just discovered that your child is gifted. Well done. You want what's best for little Cuffelbert, so you send him away to a special academy called, let's say, Quirkyton. What a wonderful school it will be. In his first year, one of his teachers dies. Oh, and giant beasts are kept on the premises. Hmm. In the second, your son gets attacked by snakes and spiders. Next year, the head torturers from Guantanamo nearly take over the school. Then next year, one of his classmates dies, slain by a serial killer who is targeting the faculty. At what point do you stop sending Cuffelbert to Quirkyton? Well, apparently, if you're a Potterverse parent, at least six years. You're a bastard. Number five, the abstinence is bullshit. A mixed gender boarding school full of teenagers locked away from teachers and parents in special dorms where they're surrounded by other students of similar temperaments. They've all got the confidence and swagger of being told they're gifted, but also the need to vent the stress of having to live up to that standard. And the teachers, especially the headmaster, endow the school with the social and political leanings of a liberal arts college. With all that in mind, in the words of Thomas Jefferson, where are all the f***ing at? Where that f***ing be? Seriously, what up with the 0% f***ing? Oh sure, they're family books, but seriously though, where be the f***ing? F***ing beware. Number four, the portraits are bulls**t. Another throwaway bit of colour that creates a nightmare plot hole the more you think about it, the portraits in the magical world are alive, right? The characters depicted on each canvas are imbued with the personalities of their real life counterparts. Harry was able to get sage wisdom from one of Dumbledore's paintings, which creates two problems. One, whenever a portrait or indeed a photograph is created, that generates a seemingly immortal sentient being. Then that means thousands of living serious blacks are all created purely to exist in bondage. And two, Considering that the collected paintings in Hogwarts cover hundreds of years of knowledge, why aren't they teaching the classes instead? It would give them something to do besides, you know, hanging on the wall for the rest of their miserable immortal lives. Number three, the time travel is bull****. We've covered this in the Harry Potter plot holes videos. Give it a watch. Call me a bastard in the comments. Why not? But the time thing bears repeating here. Wizards have the capacity for time travel, and yet murders still happen. Now, I can understand not using it every time something bad happens, but major crimes? Little things like Quirrell reportedly having Voldemort in the back of his head. Why not turn back time and check that little rumour out? But no, I guess. Hermione needs time travel to do her homework. Quirky nonsense. Number two, the jewels are bullshit. This is more of a problem with the movies, but it's still a big grievance. When you think about magical combat, the sky is the limit. You could turn your opponent to ice, ignite the air around them, shrink them to the size of a pea, and then flick them into a river. Instead, so much of the magical combat in the movies is essentially just neon gunplay. Pow, they go. Pow, pow, pow. Reducing wands to guns, duels to who can point and shout first, and a fight between people who can alter the very elements around them into a laser battle from Star Wars 
sauce is weak sauce. Weak sauce. And number one, Harry Potter is bullshit. The protagonist of the franchise is just a bit boring. Now, the Potter fans have had to deal with this criticism before, and there's a standard response at this point. Harry is a generic hero in order to be an audience cipher, to allow the people reading the books to project themselves onto him. But that's always struck me as a hollow argument. The audience don't get to decide what Harry does. He still makes choices independently of the reader. They just follow him as a character, so why should they have to think they're like him? I mean, yeah, he's the crowd's entry point into the series, but so is Katniss Everdeen, Artemis Fowl, Lyra Blackwell, and they've all got way more things going. On. Harry Potter lives in a fascinating, sometimes frustrating, weirdly sexless world, but it's just a shame that the boy who lived is also the least interesting part of it. And that's our list. Did we miss any out? Tell us about it in the comments. Call me a bastard. Why not? And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And you can follow me on Twitter here. I'm Adam from WhatCulture.com and I'll see you soon.